Alright guys, we're playing Mass Effect, and we are going to Vermeer. Wait, I missed something. Alright guys, Simon here, and we're playing Mass Effect, and we're going to Vermeer. There we go. So, yeah, so that's, that's, the, that's the next major plot mission, and Vermeer is actually quite nice. It's, it's quite a nice place to go to, except for all the guests that we'll find when we get there. Other than that, it's kind of nice. All right, let's go. Cutscene time. Come on, come on. Galaxy map. Look. Uh, all right, galaxy map. There we go. Vermeer. Look at that. Oceans. The game's load. Look at that. Vermeer is a lush frontier world, ideal for colonization by common based species. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid tropical terrain. Unfortunately, the political instability of the nearby terminus systems has impeded colonization efforts. The high risk of raids by pirates and slavers makes it an unappealing homestead. Look at that. Look at that. So, alright, Liara and Tally. The first part doesn't matter too much. Like, it doesn't matter too Commander, much. I'm reading a signal. Who Must be on Solarian. Check out those defense towers. Drop them, drop them, Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. And... Got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. So... We are standing in the water. Look at that. That's nice. That's actually really nice water. Look at that. And then like, there's like waves coming in on top of the water and everything. And look at that. Alright, let's just check the map. So, as you might expect, it's just a long, winding path. There's a little split route here, and then that. Alright, so let's just uh, get in the car and drive. So that's nice, right? Some pretty environments. Pretty Earth-like. In fact, almost entirely Earth-like. What is that? There's like a tower out there. Hmm. And also there's these crab things. Not sure what they are, but you can kill them. All right, so there's red triangles, so there's gonna be gear. Basically, it's just gonna be another drive and shoot sort of thing. But you know, this is slightly more pleasant than the other driving sections, just cause it's you know it's the beach. And beaches are nice. I also feel like. It's more interesting too, like there's a... Uh, you know, for in terms of the combat, there's more cover, you know, there's, there's more stuff going on, whereas with the other ones it's just kind of like a flat road out in the open and you just kind of kill things. Whereas here it feels like there's more things you have to consider. Is it really not dying? Yeah, like, you know, there's more things you can consider. There's this cover, it's kind of narrow. Right? Anyway, it shouldn't be too much problem for us either way. We just kind of drive up and kill them. Again, the loading screens, man. It's just not uh, optimized. The rocket drones are going to be more of a problem. And the, and the speed at which the shields recharge, it almost encourages you to just kind of sit back and wait for the shields to recharge before going forward. 
and that's not good for gameplay because then it's a lot of time spent waiting. Or you think you're encouraging the player to just kind of sit around and do nothing. It's not great. Not the best thing to to do. Just explode. Actually, is this like when you hit the water? Yeah, there's like effects on the water too. Right? That's cool. So it's just more interesting, right? It's more interesting than just the uh, the flat ground. Like there's water in the middle of it. Thunderstorms. Cool. It, it may be, you know, as as these guys are making more and more of these levels, they're getting better at doing it. You know, and then and they're just kind of getting better. It feels that way. Like this is like visually, there's it's richer. There's more things. There's more. Oh crap! I'm getting shot. Like there's more colors, there's more movement. It's more interesting. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it really does feel like the game really gets better as it goes on. Except for the side quests. Where are these guys? The radar's jammed, so I can't see them anymore. I don't know where the enemies are, they're probably there, there we go. They are the soldier drone. Radar is still jammed. But I have no idea where they are. Oh, okay. Radar is still jammed. Radar is still I don't I don't know. This jamming the radar thing is pretty annoying. I don't know where they are, but you see like the, the cover it just makes the combat more interesting, right? You don't just you know, see them from a distance and Well I mean you kinda do see them from a distance and rocket them, but Slightly more interesting than that. All right, so now we've done. Just kill him. There's a guy down here, right? Or is he dead? Wow, he's dead. I don't think we actually have to get off here, but let me just get off here and uh, kill something. Surprise! Level 10 Spectre Weapons. Who is... What are you guys shooting at? Seriously. <laughs> what are you shooting at? Is he, is he there? There's nothing, nothing there. Well, there's, there's something there. Really. Stupid to come forward, so I can just shoot. All right, so there's that. We can't access that thing. There's loot. Um, hmm, this is hard. Uh, this is not good. I don't know. And it's random. It's random. Like sometimes it's easier and sometimes it's more difficult. I mean, conceivably, if you if they are all evenly spaced, like the 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 obstacle things are all evenly spaced. Conceivably, it's possible that it's you can't actually open it on the hard difficulties. Like if you space them just right, it is possible to make it so that you can't actually open it, no matter how good you are. So that's why the random thing is not. You know, I don't think it's a good idea. Anyway, 
Okay, so we just came up here for a bit of loot, which we don't really need. And it's, it's nice to kind of break it up too, like you drive for a bit, like, you know, it gets a bit boring, but then you kind of get off the car and and shoot for a bit, and you go back to driving. You know, if, if you know that, that a certain activity gets tedious after a little while, then it's good to break it up. Come on. This thing is taking forever to die. Alright. Hmm. There's more of them. Look at that. Um what's this? You How am I missing that thing? Look at this, I'm shooting ashes, but it's not hitting it. Okay, it's dead. And there's other things, and my shields are getting low because they just sat there. There's other things. Yeah, there's other things there. Guess armature? Wow. Just throwing these guys at us. Right, those two are dead. There's one more. There's something here. There's also something out there. There. Let's kill that. It's getting more difficult. Alright, so there's this and then there's the other side. I don't know if you can actually go through this way. On the map it looks really narrow, but seriously. Seriously. Seriously? Anyway. Magic. There we go. Don't know how that works, but hey, physics. Yeah, so actually we can go through here, alright. Can we see? We can't see it. And it can't see us, look at that. Let's just take pot shots at it until it dies. Okay. So that's that guy. There's another guy. Behind him, but I can't. Alright, so we can't see anything else here. I'm gonna go back and take the other path. Because I don't really want to get, you know, ambushed from both sides if I drive through. I don't think it happens, I think you can just choose one path and then just ignore the other one and they just kind of do nothing. But let's clear out this side as well, just in case. like it was just him was it just him maybe it wasn't just him all right keep it no it wasn't just him I should I should not stand here I should what am I okay I should not stand there all right let's take pot shots Get out of the way. We got strategies. I mean, if I told you we can, you know sidestep and dodge with the Mako, you'd say I was crazy, but there you go. Uh, oh, snipers. I don't even see them. I 
There's something there apparently. Alright, so another building. I think this one we actually have to go through. Oh, there's an AA gun there. We must find a way to disable their artillery. Yeah, and there's, there's a gate there too, so we can actually just drive through like the last one. And there should be enemies up there too, like if I it's kinda yeah, there I like killed something. So just randomly shoot up there. The explosion will kill enemies. Yeah, there we go, another one. Another one. <laughs> I don't even see them. I'm just killing them. Alright, I think that should be most of them. If that isn't, we can probably take care of them. On the ground. That's the last of them. Uh, how do I get up? Oh, this way. 